going. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. If you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to Romans chapter 5. I'll read a little bit and I'll tell you a quick little story that happened to us over the weekend on Friday. Romans chapter 5. Alright, Romans chapter 5, therefore, being justified by a faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, wherein, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not, also so, and not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that the tribulation work, worketh through patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not, maketh not ashamed because of the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given, given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man some will even dare to die. But God commandeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath through him. Okay, so I uh, I think the the workout thing that the ladies have been doing has been been a blessing. I know that uh, I know my wife has been really working hard at it, and I'm sure everybody else has to, but um, we uh, we got to walk in on, uh, on Friday. We got to walk in through the cemetery, and my my wife, I'm, you, you probably don't want to go with this, she got to talking to Kinsey, and she said, well, how many of these people that are in the cemetery do you think are actually in hell right now? And because you're saved, because Jesus went on the cross and died for you, you don't have to suffer the wrath of God. But I, I was thinking about what I was going to come up here and say uh, while we were doing that walk and while trying to teach Hannah some kind of life lessons. But I, I got a side note. I got a big saying that when I, if I walk through the cemetery and I see something messed up, I feel like it's the polite thing, polite thing to fix it. So I instilled that in Hannah, and now every time she walks through there, she wants to make sure everything's right, and everything's good, so praise God for that, but it, uh, but we got to walking around, and I I felt like God told me that uh, well, here, I'll back a little bit, but uh, you can walk through the cemetery and see these massive mausoleums, and, I mean, they have that one, they may have one person in it, but they have this, it's almost as big as a house. But you'll have those, or I saw one that uh, the plot was probably the size of this room, like lengthwise, for two people. And then you'd walk a little further, and you see a little post about this this, this big. That, and I, I'll just, I'll, I'll say this. That big plot... And that big mausoleum don't matter, don't mean nothing That's if right. you don't know the Lord. Amen. Amen. It don't matter if you got this little wooden post to tell that this is in, in memory of you. And talking to my wife now, it those are for trees, I guess. But it don't matter if you got that little wooden post that sits about this high. If you don't know the Lord, you have to suffer that. That's a God. Amen. Yep. But. Because we're justified through Jesus, we don't have to worry about it. We do have to sit at the judgment seat of Christ to answer for what we've done, but it's it's not going to be as bad as if we never accepted him into our life to begin with. So, just I, I'll never not say, don't go and witness to somebody because you don't want to have to answer for that. Because I, like I said, I've 
I've done that where I'm going to have to answer for that. Or I should have said something to that person and I didn't want to look like that weirdo or that jack wagon. But just, just never be afraid to witness to that person because you never know that they may end up one day having to suffer that wrath of God. Amen. And I, I personally don't want to be held accountable having to watch them go into the lake of fire. That's right. So just keep that in mind. Um, but is there a little one that wants to dismiss us? Go ahead, amen. 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 amen.